If you guys are looking to create subscriptions for your customers, whether you want to put them on a subscription for a service, or if you guys want to invoice them a subscription, today I'll walk you guys through how to set one up for free. So I'll be showing you guys how to set up subscriptions in two different methods. The first one is via email. So here we have this email and you guys can fully design and decorate this email. So here we have a $500 subscription that we can email to clients. So if you want to sign them up for like an SEO plan or like a, a web maintenance plan, you guys can send them recurring subscriptions right here via email. You guys also know who uses the same service is Midjourney. If you guys ever use Midjourney or use their AI products, they're amazing. They actually use the same service that I'll be showing you guys how to use today in this video. Now, the very second method is via link. So what we can do here is we can create the subscription and then we can uh, put it anywhere on the website via link. So here is the website that I have created, right? And right here, I'll click on buy now. And what this will do, this will prompt the users to subscribe to our service. So you'll see right here, we have a $5 subscription fee they can sign up for, they enter in their credit card information, and then they are subscribed to our service. So I'll be walking you guys through how to set up subscription payments via email and also via websites. You guys ready? Let's go. Now, the very first thing that you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go to stripe.com. Now, stripe.com is a free service. It does not cost you guys anything whatsoever. There is no credit check, no monthly fee, free, free, free. All they do is charge you guys a transaction fee. So they do charge like a 2.9% transaction fee for all your transactions, but that's standard for most companies, right? So you guys will go through the process, sign up with Stripe. All you gotta do is give them your email address, your name, and then link a bank account so they can pay you. And once you guys go through the verification process, then I'll go ahead and meet you guys in the customer portal. Now, I personally use this service. So over here, you guys are gonna see, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys my numbers really quick in case you guys are, are nosy, right? So this is my, um, my current business right here and we sell digital products and we actually use Stripe. So they actually take the money and they deposit it directly into my bank accounts. And you guys can set the intervals. So if you want it every day or every week or every month, uh, Stripe will transfer the money directly from Stripe to your bank account. So you'll see right here, they're going to pay us like four Gs, right? Pretty cool, right? Making some money, right? But uh, let me walk you guys through how to set all this up. So we're gonna go over here to my testing accounts. Now, really quick, I'm gonna put this in test mode. Now, if you guys do wanna accept real credit card payments, you guys will need to take off test mode, okay, right? But uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, walk you guys through this with test mode. It's the same thing, there is no difference at all whatsoever. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a customer. So who are we going to sign up? Well. So over here, I'll go ahead and select customers and we're gonna create a customer. Now, if you guys just want to link them on your website, like I showed you guys earlier, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. But uh, if you guys wanna invoice customers, we first need to create a customer. So over here, I'll click on add a customer, right? And we're gonna put Daryl Wilson, all right? And then Daryl Porto at gmail.com. And we're gonna create a customer. All right, cool. So we got our customer. Now we need to create the actual service. So what are we going to bill, right? Over here, let's go ahead and click on a product catalog. And then we're gonna click on add a product. So what is the service that you guys are going to uh, have people subscribe for, right? So we're gonna put SEO subscription. I don't know, maybe that's, that's, a, that's a thing, you know, SEO subscription, right? And then here you'll give a description. So this is or SEO package, right? And then here we have the option. We have recurring and then also we have one off, right? So we're gonna select recurring and right here we have a uh, amount. So you're gonna put the amount. So we're gonna put, um, I don't know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, $1,000, whatever it is you guys want to put, you'll go ahead and put the amount there. Here we have the billing cycle. So we can put daily, weekly, monthly, every three months, or you guys can select custom where you guys can create any interval that you guys want to select. Here we have more pricing options. I don't think we need to do anything here. Nope, we're gonna go ahead and click on back. All right, so now that we've created this product, now let's go ahead and click on add a product. All right, pretty easy, right? We have the SEO subscription. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna send the invoice. And after that, I'll show you guys how to link this on your website so you guys can put this anywhere on the internet or scam people, whatever it is you guys wanna do, right? Uh, over here, I'll click on invoices and we're gonna click on create a test invoice. Now, obviously if this is in test mode. If this was not in test mode, it'll just say create invoice, right? Okay, we're going to now select the customer, Daryl Wilson, okay? 
And here you guys can select the currency. So you guys can put dollar, you guys can put the Kuwaiti dollar, the Albanian lek, uh, all these different currencies. This is crazy. All these, you know, so many currencies out there. And then here we have items, right? So here we have the SEO subscription. So that is why we create the products. We're just gonna put one, right? So you guys can increase the quantity. If you guys want to go that route, but we're just gonna put one for now. Here I'll click on save. Uh, here we have the request payments, right? Now, really quick, here we can request the payment in specific time frames. So if you guys want to accept this in seven days or 14 days or whatever, you guys can select the time frame. Now, here is where we should adjust things. So how do you guys want to receive this payment or how do you guys want them to pay you? I personally think credit card is good, right? Uh, in America, most of us just use credit card, uh, but you guys can use different payment methods. If you guys wanna use bank transfer or, or cash app, I guess that's the thing, right? But, uh, you know, WeChat, you know, WeChat is like exclusive to China. So we, we need to go ahead and take some of these off right here. I just want credit card or debit card. That is it, right? Here, I'll click on save, all right? Here we have delivery. So we're gonna email this invoice to the customer. And then here we have additional options. So you guys can create little cool little notes and memos like uh, you are amazing, right? Essentially these are notices on the invoice. So right here you'll see this little you are amazing pops up and you guys can add this to like the footer as well. So right here I'll put something like uh, refer a friend, friends and get $50. You know, guys, sorry for my typing. I know I'm illiterate, but the thing is I have a microphone right here. So I'm kind of like looking, you know, trying to trying to guess where the keys are and stuff like that. So here I'll click on confirm. All right, and then refer a friend and get 50 bucks. And then here's important, right? Open branding settings. So this is where we can adjust the color and stuff like that. So if uh, you guys wanna change the color, you guys can go ahead and do that. Here you guys can upload the icon and also the logo. So you guys should upload your logo right here. And then once we're done, I'll click on save changes. Now really quick, here we have the invoice PDF, right? But since we're sending this, sending this via email, they're gonna see it like this right here. So we can just get like a quick little preview right here of what this looks like, right? Here we have payment page. And this is like what they're going to see when they enter in their credit card information, right? So I'll go ahead and click on send this invoice. And you guys can also CC other people. So I'll just go ahead and put in my email right here. All right. And then I'll click on send invoice. And voila, you guys are gonna see right here, we have the invoice. If they click on this, you'll see that they can pay this invoice. So I'll click on pay this invoice, and then it'll redirect them to Stripe right here where they can go ahead and pay this via credit card. So right here, I'll click on the card and then they can go ahead and pay this and sign up for your service, right? So that's how you guys can send uh, recurring subscriptions via invoice. But now let me show you guys how you guys can add a link and add it directly on your website. So let's go back over here to Stripe. Okay, and we're gonna go over here to product catalog. Now, in order to make this work on your website, you guys must take this out of test mode. So right here, I'll take this out of test mode. And then here we have some services, right? And obviously this is the same thing. You guys just click on add a product and then you guys will just go ahead and go through the same process, right? Now, once you guys create the product, I'll go ahead and link this. So right here, I'll click on the SEO subscription, right? So this is $5 a month. Now, the very next thing I'll do is right here, I'll click on the pricing. So I'll click on the $5. Once you guys click on the product here, you'll see these three dots. I'll click on the three dots and then you're gonna see this view payment link. I'll click on view payment link. And then right here, we can go ahead and copy this. So I'll go ahead and copy this. And then this link right here, you guys can place it anywhere on your websites. So let's go back over here to my websites and I'll click on edit with Elementor and I'll just insert this on the website. Okay, so here's this website and I'll just place it right here. So I'll paste the link right here and then I'll click on updates. Now there are various ways on how to do this. So you guys don't have to actually use uh, like your page builder. You guys can actually use Stripe services. So Stripe actually has a service right here where you, if you click on buy button, you guys can actually copy and paste this into the code of your website. So if you guys are using HTML or something, you guys can go ahead and copy this. And then you'll see a preview right here of the subscription service box, right? You guys can configure this to like a button or a card or, you know, you guys can change the layout and the styling options right here. So if you guys wanna change this to like, you know, pink or something, you guys can go that route. You guys can also use this with WordPress. So if you guys do want to embed this with WordPress, you just have to add like a code module and then you can embed it as well. So going back over here, I'll go ahead and update that. And let's view the page really quick. 
all right, so let's imagine I'm a brand new customer and I want to subscribe to the service, right? And I'm like, oh, I want direct marketing. I'll click on learn more. And then voila, they're brought to this page right here where they can sign up via subscription. So that's how you guys can add this to your website if you guys want users to subscribe through your website via button or by some other means. Now, if you guys do want to actually add this to your WordPress website, you guys still can do that. So right here, let's just say, for example, I want to actually take this and embed this onto my website. Here, I'll take on copy code. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a code module. So right here, I'll type in code. And what we're going to do here is I'll just, uh, I'll just, let's see what we're going to do here. I'll just make a little section, right? We'll just put in the flex box, right? One section. Okay. And then we're going to put in the code, all right? Here, I'll put in the HTML, and then I'll just paste that code in there like that. And then you guys will see that we have this button here. And what's cool about Elementor is that we can actually uh, manipulate this. So over here under the advanced, I can put this in the center or to the end or something like that. And then maybe we can add in some heading text like it says like, hey, subscribe to the service, you know, subscribe. Let's see right here, subscribe, subscribe to service, okay. And then I'll put this in the center and you know, you can make a page like that if you guys want to go that route. So that is how you guys can add subscriptions to your websites. All right, party people. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you guys out. I know it can be hard to set up subscription services because a lot of the plugins for WordPress, they want you to upgrade to the pro and they want you to pay. And it's like, nah, you don't got to do that. Just use this. It's easier, you know? So I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, make sure to like this video and leave me a nice comment below. You know, let me know about my hair to look good or if I lost weight or, you know, I need some, I need some words of encouragement, you know? But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.